Professional composers like Mozart, who wrote music for a living, rarely write a piece of music just for the heck of it, particularly not a big piece for orchestra and soloists. And yes, in fact, Mozart had a very good reason to compose such a Mannheim-friendly work as his Sinfonia Contratante in 1779. You see, when he was in Mannheim two years earlier, Mozart had met and befriended a high-end aristocrat named Karl Theodor, Count Palatine and Duke of Bavaria. Well, in 1779, this same Karl Theodor moved to the Bavarian capital of Munich, there to take up residence as Prince Elector of Bavaria, one of the nine worthies tasked with electing the Holy Roman Emperor. In the Europe of the time, the prestige of such an elector was second only to a king or an emperor. What all of this meant was that in 1779, Wolfgang Mozart suddenly had a friend in a very high place. Mozart's Sinfonia Contratante, which honored Prince Elector Karl Theodor's hometown of Mannheim, was meant to further ingratiate Mozart to the prince. And ingratiate it did. In 1780, Mozart received an operatic commission from the elector, Karl Theodor, and the city of Munich. The commission for an opera entitled E Domineo, King of Crete, was scheduled to be premiered in January of 1781. Oh my goodness, Mozart was jumping out of his boxers with excitement. He was, at his core, a man of the theater, and here was a chance to compose for the Cuvigny, or Bavarian Court Residence Theater, one of the great theaters in all of Europe. Mozart secured two six-week leaves of absence from his job in Salzburg, the first one to actually compose the opera, and the second one, a month later, to oversee its rehearsals and premiere in Munich. On November 5th, 1780, Mozart left Salzburg for Munich there to compose Idomeneo. Munich made Salzburg look mm, like Burlington, New Jersey. All right, sorry Burlington, I grew up right next to you, so unfortunately I know what I'm talking about. In Munich, Mozart was treated like the celebrity he was. His opera was brilliantly performed and received. Having experienced real operatic success on his own and as an adult in a world-class city, the very last thing the now 25-year-old Mozart wanted to do was return to Salzburg and resume being a cog in the musical wheel of the Archbishop's court. So, as his stay in Munich drew towards its conclusion, he became anxious and he became depressed. He wrote to his father, quote, Next Monday, I shall have been away from Salzburg for six weeks. You know, my dear father, that it is only to please you that I am staying on there in Salzburg, since by heaven, if I had followed my inclination before leaving Salzburg just now, I would have wiped my arse with my last contract." Unquote. Oh, these are the sort of letters that gave Leopold Mozart such, such joy, yes? Well, as it turned out in the end, after three triumphant performances of Idomeneo, Mozart left Munich not for Salzburg, but for Vienna. He had been called to Vienna by his boss, Prince Archbishop Hieronymus von Colorado, who was in Vienna visiting his sick father. The Archbishop liked his music, and since his MP3 player was in the shop, his only option was to haul his musicians around with him. Besides, he really wanted to show off his musicians to the Habsburg muckety-mucks there in Vienna. Hey, hey, I might live out in the sticks, but I got some kick-butt musicians working for me back home in Salzburg, or so the Archbishop might have thought. Mozart's issues 
with the authority figures that had controlled his life for his first 25 years were there in Vienna about to come to a nasty head.